Are you noticing colds that linger longer, mornings that feel heavier, or soreness that seems to hang around after minor stress? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're looking at how consistent exercise retrains your immune cells so you respond faster, recover more cleanly, and maintain steadier energy as you age. I'm Alara Skye. Your immune system doesn't fail overnight. It slows and loses coordination. What you feel as sluggishness, frequent minor illnesses, or stubborn inflammation often reflects how efficiently your immune cells produce and manage energy. The encouraging part is that years of moderate, regular movement can reshape that efficiency. A key insight comes from research and scientific reports that compared lifelong endurance-trained older adults with sedentary peers. The trained group's natural killer cells, the rapid response defenders that patrol for infected or abnormal cells, were stronger, quicker to activate, and more durable under pressure. That translates into better day-to-day -day resilience. Those trained cells didn't just act faster. They powered up better. They showed higher oxygen consumption and greater energetic reserve. Signs that the mitochondria inside those cells were performing at a youthful level. When your immune cells can generate energy on demand, they respond to threats decisively and then stand down without burning you out. Researchers even push those cells with metabolic stressors such as propranolol and rapamycin, compounds that typically dampen cellular activation. The trained adult's natural killer cells resisted that suppression. The advantage centered on smarter fuel handling, greater reliance on aerobic metabolism, which produces steady, sustainable energy instead of the boom and bust you feel after stress. Another paper in Frontiers in Immunology looked at how decades of endurance training change inflammatory control. Younger, highly active athletes mounted big, rapid inflammatory surges when challenged. Master athletes with long training histories showed steadier, more regulated responses and returned to baseline faster after an exercise stimulus. That difference matters for how you feel. Oversized inflammatory spikes look like fatigue, soreness, brain fog, and lingering symptoms after illness. The master athlete's calmer profile conserved energy, shortened the stressed window, and moved them back into repair mode sooner, which is a practical advantage if you want consistent daily performance. A practical takeaway from both studies is that immune resilience comes from consistency, not extremes. The discipline pattern in master athletes reflected years of accumulated exposure to manageable training, not heroic daily sessions. That's permission to build capacity with repetition, rather than chasing intensity that can backfire. So, what should you actually do? Start by building a daily movement streak. Your immune cells learn through repetition, and short sessions count. Ten minutes of brisk walking, a quick bike ride, or a rower interval creates rhythm. Set a simple streak goal to lock in predictability and let the cellular training compound. Use moderate intensity walking as your cardio base, then pair it with brief, high quality strength work. The target is about one hour of walking spread across the day as you're able, plus roughly 20 minute strength sessions twice per week. That mix stabilizes energy without spiking stress hormones or exhausting your mitochondrial capacity. Add one weekly session that is deliberately easy but lasting about 25 to 40 minutes of slow movement. Your training duration tolerance here, not performance. This teaches your mitochondria to keep producing energy smoothly, helps your immune responses stay measured, and leaves you feeling better afterward, not depleted. If heavy lifting or joint strain is a concern, consider katsu, also known as blood flow restriction training. With soft cuffs or bands that gently limit flow, Light loads can drive strength and endurance gains at a cellular level. You can even use it while walking or doing mobility work to support circulation and recovery. Recovery is part of the training. End each session with a brief cool down, relaxed walking, slow breathing, or gentle stretching, and keep a simple log of your energy, sleep, and how quickly soreness fades. Noting those trends reinforces progress and helps you spot when to ease off before small stresses become setbacks. If you want a structured way to gauge change, pay attention to how quickly you bounce back from a minor cold, 
a hard week of work, or a missed night of sleep. The long-trained pattern is a faster return to baseline, fewer residual symptoms, and steadier morning energy. That's what immune discipline feels like in daily life. Remember that the trained advantage also includes higher mitochondrial performance within immune cells, greater maximal respiration, and enhanced spare respiratory capacity. That profile supports staying alert without tipping into unnecessary inflammation. So your responses are strong when needed and quiet when not. It's also clear that the benefits come from repetition more than novelty. The immune system adapts when you give it regular, moderate signals. Erratic bursts of high intensity can produce the very inflammatory spikes that leave you drained, while consistent training smooths those spikes over time. As you layer habits, keep the focus on maintainable patterns. Daily walking, short strength sessions, one easy duration practice, optional katsu for low strain progress, and intentional cooldowns create an environment where your immune cells operate like they belong to a younger body. Responsive, efficient, and resilient. If you've been inactive or are rebuilding after a setback, start at the smallest dose you can repeat tomorrow. The goal isn't a single impressive workout. It's training your cells to expect steady, manageable inputs. That's how you earn faster recovery and fewer overreactions to everyday stressors. To bring this home, consider how your last illness resolved. Did symptoms trail on with fatigue and brain fog? The protocol we've outlined is designed to prevent that pattern by building a controlled, energy-efficient immune response, one that does the job and then stands down quickly. Here's your challenge for this week. Begin a 14-day movement streak with at least 10 minutes daily. Accumulate up to an hour of walking most days. Add two 20-minute strength sessions. Schedule one easy 25 to 40 minute session and finish each workout with two minutes of slow breathing. Log how your energy and recovery change. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.